Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Heart of Iron 4, Ghana in the Cold War. Um, as you can see, we're in the 60s, 70s uh, start date and last episode, which I believe was part one if my memory serves correct, um, we managed to expand. We managed to get rid of Togo and expand ourselves a little bit. Uh, we do need to continue growing. Again, the idea of this playthrough is to basically have an amazing GDP, unite West Africa, um, and maybe try and contend with the big guns financially. I'm not sure how viable that option really is, but um, we will do what we can. We're looking forward to uh, the upper Volta, and they're looking like a tasty target. Um, looking at their army intel, they have nothing. On a civvy level, they got one civvy factory, and we need that civvy factory, because with one civvy, we can start our uh, intelligence agency and start going through the motions of seeing how accurate um, the, the, the military stuff really is for our surrounding nations. Because I know, Niger N N N N N I can't even say it, Nigeria, there we go, Nigeria is going to give us a hard time. They've probably got tons and tons and tons of divisions. They've got 13, yeah. <laughs> They're going to wipe the floor with me. But, um, but anyway, guys, if you do look forward to today's episode and you do want to see more, don't forget to, of course, click that like button and or subscribe. We do have Hoi 4 coming out here on the channel every single day. Um, so if you do want more, don't forget to, of course, click that like and subscribe. So without further ado, guys, let's jump into it. Okay, so continuing on from the same thought process that we had from last, uh, last episode was with the Upper Volta. Now, the Upper Volta have... One civvy, no military. Even if I click on the army intel tab, there is no infantry, no divisions, no special forces, nothing. So it should be a walk in the park. Again, key term, emphasis on the should. Having a look, we do have enough manpower to throw out some divisions. But we do not have enough equipment. I am starved for equipment right now. And I can't exactly go producing because I'm, 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 uh, I'm not exactly in a great great place really either um, i do have the non-core uh, manpower mod on just because we are starting um in a region that's pretty underdeveloped at the start of 1970 um i debated taking it off because for the first one two episodes i did not have it on but for safety purposes i'm gonna have it on for this episode I might take it off for next it's not a big thing if you guys don't like it we can take it off i don't mind um but with that being said i've got 45 or 49 days left for that i've got all this political power i need more equipment and i think i can buy more equipment military equipment purchase support equipment motorized convoys negotiate arms contracts so right Okay, right, so we need to have a little bit of a thought process here because we can buy support, we can buy motorized, we can buy utility, cargo, jets, convoys, but I do not have what I need for... Yeah, I don't have what I need to be able to buy... Um, pay off debt. Do I even have any debt? I don't think I have any debt. Okay, cool. Um, I don't have what I need in order to invest in and buy... Um, weapons now i pff, this is saying 50 billion dollars to buy it i've got fifth my whole economy is 50 billion i mean i'm not exactly if i had political power i could use to buy that'd be great negotiate arms contracts independent contractors cancel i'm going to cancel that i d i don't want to play around with it right now it's not a wise <laughs> decision to be playing around with that stuff so i'm gonna leave that alone um oh no i need 15 factories I need... Oh, no. I'm going to need another 11. Taking the upper Volta isn't enough for me to create the agency. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't good. Okay, well, since I've got a lot of political power and not a lot to use it on, I might as well just use it to improve uh, manufacturers and stuff like that. Volunteer population. Um, I can use 200 of my 400 to use for limited conscription. That's fine. That's going to give me a political power boost. I'm also going to an industrial company um, over electronics just because I do want that construction speed on my industrial stuff. We have finished the militia patrols, which gives me war support, gives me the support, uh, support for the military police, which is great, but I'm probably not going to use it all that much. Um, and now I need to look around of what I'm going to do next because I do kind of want to go down um, industry spaced stuff. So, um, actually, you know, there, there's, wait, military hospitals, that gives me that. Militia core gives me the production cost. Okay, cool. That gives me effective chain. Remove the militia network and advance new militia network. Da, da, da. Okay, right. I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to leave this alone because I don't feel like it's doing a whole lot for me. 
Um, this will give me army experience and create a Ghanaian unit in Greater Accra. Boom, 40 days. Boom, get to it. That's perfect. If I can do that, that's 40 days plus 40 days, that's 80 days. It's going to take 130 days for my justification of war to finish. So, 28th of June. Yeah, by the time this happens, I should, uh, key term should, have three divisions over my two. And my army will be able to go all the way through. We'll be able to take Bobo Dialasu. Dio Lasso, there we go. I'll be able to take uh, Uga, Uga, oh my god. Uga, oh, I can't, I, I, I'm so sorry. I'm terrible. I'm absolutely terrible with pronunciations. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt it one last time. Wa, Waga, Dao, Wa, Waga Daugo. Yeah, you know what? We'll go with that. <laughs> it was an attempt. I made it an attempt. I think I came close. I probably butchered it really badly. Um, but like uh, some of these, some, some of these names are super hard to like. Right, Ibadan, I Ibadan or Ibad, I Ib Ibadan or Ibadan, like Lagos or Lagos, Porto Novo, uh, Kodanu, Epe, Abokuda, Aboekuta. Right, some of them are like Iwo. They're quite relatively hard, easy to say. But then if you come further north, you just sort of like where where's, where's another one that I'm gonna really struggle struggle at? Quara Nomada. I think that's okay. Powder coating, that's great. That, how am I supposed to say that? To chin, chin tabared, I, I give up. I'm terrible at pronunciation. I'm going to stick to my Manchester's and my Leeds because they're easier for me to pronounce. So looking here, if I'm looking at Ghana's what we've got to offer, we need to increase our building speeds. And we are trying to, to meet the need. We do have food production. We are very, very well done on food production. Our GDP has dropped from 60 to 59. Wait, was it 60 or was it... Wait, 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 wait. Or has it gone up? Has it gone up? No, yeah, it's gone up. It's gone from 50 to 59. Oh, wow, we're killing it. Well done. Good job, Ghana. We're going to... We are going to be... Ignatius, listen here, pal. You and me are going to lead Ghana to an era of, of, of the Golden Age. This is going to be the Golden Age for Ghana. All of this is going to be owned by the Star of Africa, right? So... Um, with that being said, I need to have a look at what I'm building. One, I now have my third division. That's fantastic. Um, but having a look at research, agriculture, longshore income, production retention, no. Um, this is agriculture, in construction speed. That's what we want. The construction speed and to build things up quickly. The quicker they can get built, the quicker we can build new buildings, the quicker we can develop the land, the quicker we can become riches, and the quicker that Ghana could be more prosperous than the United States. <laughs> It's the goal. Everyone's got to have a goal. One thing I want to see and want to test out, though, is because if we go again, go up to here, we have the option. Where is it? It was here somewhere. It was here somewhere. Here we go. Right. Industrialization requirements not met. Fair enough. But if I go and be like, oh, OK, uh, industrialize Guasso. Well, Guasso's province turned from like this, this river, flatland, jungle s sort of flat tile and develop into like what Kamasi looks like. Because that'd be so cool if like all my cities had like an actual town or city thing on them. And and obviously what wasn't industrialized sort of stays as whatever. If you get what I'm saying, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I really want to test it around and play around and see where or not I can do that. Maybe it also depends on when you're... Uh, where's my building? Where's, where's my building button? Where's my building button? Construction. There we go. Like state infrastructure plus 10. If it's on 10, it looks like New York does. Like if we go and take a look at New York. Right, the United Nations is in New York. Nice. New York doesn't even go. Okay, great. Let me look at another alternative. Washington. The map is so blue, I can't even see it. Okay. Um, fly over to London. There we go. That's more visible. Visible, he says. I need to find Paris. I can't see anything because it's too foggy. Can we just get like a sunny day or something? It's probably fog of war that's doing this to me. But I'm, I'm going to find a way. Right. If I zoom out like that, you can kind of see. You see how heavily developed it is. Maybe if I if I boom all the stuff up, it'll get like that. I'm hoping that's the case. I'd like to be proved right on that statement. Because I feel like if the land develops as you go through the campaign, as you like upgrade your infrastructure and upgrade this, that and the other, that'd be awesome. I, I'd really like to do that. And I'd like to see like a button. Again, this is just very superficial and there's no real need for it for this next part. But like, I'd love it if it was an option to invest GDP or invest set amount of billions to make a, 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 um, a landmark. And it would make like a, a landmark that's very 
prevalent in the country. So I don't know about Ghana. Oh, again, all I know about Ghana is that they have spicy food, good rice, and um, amazing chocolate. I don't know anything about Ghana other than that. Oh, yeah, and they've got great beaches. That's about it, right? But let's say, for example, we have France. And it says for 100 billion, if you click this button, it will it will build the Eiffel Tower and then the Eiffel Tower will appear on the map, right? Something like that I would really like. So whatever the, the, the big major landmark in Ghana is, you could be like, okay, that's cool, right? I'm going to spend 60 billion GDP or whatever um, and I'm going to build a statue in Kamasi and you'll be able to see the statue. I reckon that'd be really, really cool because I know on um, some, some mods out there that you do have these these monuments and, and very important notable buildings for each region or each country appearing on the map and I, I don't know a part of me feels like that would be a really cool addition i'll tell you what though i'm sitting here looking around the map at what places i could potentially invade to not only expand but to take extra resources and uh nigeria is the place to be i mean 66 food that's incredible 66 on the agriculture that's amazing. 32 metals up here in the north. Look at this big combination. That's fantastic. But also at the same time, if we look to the west, down here in Liberia, that's quite good. 47 metals, 19 light metals. Again, the same in the south. I feel like I want to have a look around the resource map a lot more as well because I never, I never really took a look. When they updated Cold War mod... I, I started playing it of the updated version. I never actually took the chance to look at the resources around the map. And I feel like I probably should have. Because I don't know. Subconsciously, I've just memorized the uh, Millennium Dawn Cold War. Uh, sorry, Millennium Dawn Classic, rather, um, resource map. And I feel like that's where a lot of my resource knowledge comes from. Rather than base game and rather than this and rather than that. Arabia, how are we doing? I'm surprised they did Oh, no. Okay, so 475. I was about to say I'm surprised they did throw more in Arabia. No, nope, they've... They've got more than enough. <laughs> and here we go. It is time to go and play with the Upper Vaulted Republic. Um, much uh, much to their, 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 their dis displeasure. We're going to conquer. And we're going to send. And I'm going to send my boys in. Come on, Ignatius. Let's go take a hike. Um, we've got two in the north. I'm going to send one straight through to the capital. Um, I want you go to the Fada. And I want you, my friend, to come over to Bobo. And those are the main targets that we want to hit. They don't seem to have anyone standing in 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 uh, against us. Hopefully that remains the same throughout the whole campaign. Only time will tell. Okay, so we've taken the capital. We've taken a few cities. We're about to take Bobo as well. Um, looking at the war map, they are showing a little bit of um, resilience. They don't really want to cap too soon, it seems. I'm going to send you straight down here to Banfora. Um, and then you can bounce up to De Dogu. Um, you are going up through Kaya. No. Go to... Why is he not listening to me? Go here. Go Kaya. Go... I can't even pronounce that. Wahigwaya. Uh, that, that, that's a challenge. You go up to Jibo like that. Fantastic. And just let them go at it. I'm looking at the map. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to just take all the little city points as well. Just to get them to cap. And then after this, I really want to go after Mali. But at the same time, Mali is massive. And Mali is bound to have an army. They are bound to have an army bigger than three divisions. I'm scared, man. Mali, Niger, Nigeria. And you know what? Probably even Cote d'Ivoire are probably about to slap me out of existence. I am terrified of my neighbors. I must expand even more. And after a very long and tiring campaign. I say that. It was literally five minutes. <laughs> after a tiring campaign. Upper Volta is now capitulated. Wait for it to pop up. There we go. It's all capitulated. We're going to take all states. And Ghana has expanded once more. Look at that big border. That's a big boy border. Um, I'm going to throw my troops on the border of Mali. They can imagine what's going to happen soon. And next episode, we're going to see if we can't find a new target. Because we're going to need to keep expanding. Because we're, we're in no position at all to um to, to to just chill like i can't even sit here and just be like okay i'm just gonna give like um a year's worth of patience to building my building rate is so slow because my factories it's just i don't have enough factories to go around like i've got six civilian factories that's nowhere near enough nowhere at all <laughs> uh, but anyway guys that's where we're going to end this episode and thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed don't forget to of course click that like button and or subscribe share me with friends that grow for the channel all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the next episode ta-da